Okay, so this is the Martha Stewart mini scoring board. You can see it here, and I just thought this is the coolest thing. It reminds me only slightly of the Score Pal. So don't think Score Pal, just think mini scoring board because it's not exactly like that product. I'm going to show you how it works. The cool thing about it is it's a scoreboard. It is six and a half inches wide. You can see that there. It comes with a bone folder and I'm going to flip it over. On the back side of the board, I'm going to show you this, it makes envelopes. Now I'm going to show you how this is going to open up a whole new world to you. So check this out. I'm going to slide it out of the packaging. I kept, I kept the packaging so you could see it. This is what it looks like when you find it. Okay. Now, here is the board. Mine's a little dirty because I've been using it a lot, and you'll see what that is from in a minute, but this is the score front, and to get the um, score, I mean, to get the bone folder out, it kind of slides over. See that? I really like this better than that whole flip-up thing. It slides over, and you get it out, and this bone folder is shaped a little bit different. You can see how it's a little more... Um, rounded out here instead of going to a point. I like that better too. So that's what this is. I'm just going to put it back for now until we need it. And like I said, you can score. The cool thing about this one is it's like the Martha Stewart one where you can score every, what is that, 16th or 8th of an inch. You can score, you know, anywhere you need to here all the way through six and a half inches. And it's also, let me show you this, it's also eight inches long. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over because this is what's cool to me. On the back side, this will show you exactly how to make envelopes. Now the envelopes that it will make, and I wanna make sure you can see it, it will make four different size envelopes. It's gonna make an A4, an A2, an A6, and an A7. Now when I saw this, the only one that I knew was an A2 because I never messed with my other envelope maker because it was just such a pain. I did do a video on it. If you wanna see that video, I have it on my channel but it was a pain. So this is the one I, that I'm going to start using and love it. Let me show you those sides of cards. So the first one is the four bar. This is what is a four bar. Now this piece of paper is a seven and a half by seven and a half. We'll get to that when we make the envelope, but this is the size of a four bar. I'm going to show you that compared to the size of an A2. So this one is an A2. This is a four bar. So see the difference? Okay. And now I'm going to show you that compared to the size A6. This is an A6 compared to an A2 compared to a four bar. And then finally, the A7. This is the A7, and I'm going to show you them all compared. Now, I made all these envelopes because I wanted you to see the sizes you could get from this. I'm telling you, it's going to open a new world to you. Because if you're like me, I make A2 cards all the time. I know what size envelope to buy, and that's, and that's how easy it is. But... These will give you such a different variety of canvas to work on when you're making your cards. For example, this card itself, the A7, is a 5x7 card that fits inside of there. It takes a 10x7 piece of paper. You do not have to remember these measurements I'm giving you because they are all listed on the score the scoreboard for you, on the mini scoreboard. It tells you here, if you're going to make a 4 bar card, then it will fold to become a three and a half by four and seven eighths. So you will need to start with a seven by four and seven eighths piece of paper and then score it at three and a half. And then down here, it's going to tell you for that envelope, you need a seven by seven piece of paper. So we're going to make that envelope so I can show you that envelope and that card so I can show you how it works. So first things first, we will fold the card. Now, it told me that I need a piece for the four bar that is seven by four and seven eighths. So that's what I have cut here. I'm gonna double check my measurements because you know, measure twice, cut once. I wanna make sure I'm using the right one. It is four, I mean, I'm sorry, it's seven by four and seven eighths. So that's the size I've cut, seven by four and seven eighths. So there's the card. Now I'm gonna flip it over and show you this cool feature of this board. Let me get my bone folder off. Um, the, another cool feature is, and which side do I want to be out or in? I want this to be out. Okay, so, I mean in. <laughs> so, if you look at the top of the board, I want to make sure that's in frame too because I want you to be able to see it. Yeah. If you look at the top of the board, across the top it says 4 bar, A2, A6, and A7. I'm telling you, this is going to be the neatest thing for you. 
So all you have to do, and it has little grooves in between those, in between the little notches at the top. So you can kind of start there, feel your way down, and score. That's all you have to do. It kind of just leans itself to that purpose. And then fold your card as usual. And then bone fold it. Now, let's make the envelope, which is what you're all waiting for, which I think is awesome. Okay, now what I have done on the back of the scoreboard, because I found this works easier, um, is to put a little temporary adhesive on it. It's, if you just try to do it with your piece of paper, I found that I have to turn the product to make it work for me. You may not have to, but this is all you have to do. This card, we're I mean, this envelope we're making is the four bar, which means um, we cut seven and a half by seven and a half piece of paper and we need the four bar information. Now all these little lines that look really confusing, I know they look confusing but they're not when you start messing with it, they all mean something. And one thing that they mean is when you're making a four bar envelope, there are diagonal lines that you're going to line your cardstock up into at the four bar. It says four bar here, four bar here, four bar here, and four bar there. If you were doing an A2 card, based on what you cut, you'd put it here, 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 and so on. Okay? Very easy. Now I have, let me see if I put any down. Yeah. I have some temporary adhesive in the middle, and I just use some dotto like this, because um, you know this rubs off. So I just put a little temporary, it's not going to mess up my cardstock or anything. And now what you do, which I think is really neat, is you will score anywhere there is a score line that says four bar. So there's one that goes here, so I will score it here, okay? Then I like to turn it because I think it's easier. That's why I like that um, what are, temporary adhesive in the middle. Okay, and then you're gonna find a four bar line here. Score that one. I'm gonna rotate it again. You can't do this if you don't use that adhesive because your paper will move all over the place. Then, find my next four bar line, which is here, and turn it one more time, and my final four bar line. I'm telling you, it's going to change things for you. So, now then, all you do is remove your envelope. You're through with your, your uh, mini scoreboard for now, so I'm going to put it aside and show you what you do. Now, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and fold these lines in because I can see them better. You can see how well they're scored because that um, that new bone fold, I really like the way it's laid out. I think it works better. Okay, so last one to do. And all you do at this point, you're going to have little points um, where the score lines cross each other and they make a little diamond shape. You're going to take some scissors and just notch those out. and then disregard that little piece of paper. So just notch it. Just like that. And do this on all four little notches. telling you I really am excited about this board because I'm going to start making cards that are different sizes and I won't have to go buy an envelope. Now, I scored it on the white side so you could see it really good, but I'm going to fold it differently. I'm going to turn it over this way and I'm going to fold the color, the pattern paper to the inside. So you're going to fold one side in and one side in. You will clearly see which are your sides because they are smaller than your tops. Okay, so you fold your sides in and then you're going to fold this piece in. I want to show you. I make a little modification that it doesn't call for. I don't like this point, so what I do is I just bring that piece back down, use my grid mat, which happens to have a point there, and then I just fold this down to one of those lines, and you really can just freehand this. It's no big deal. I put a little adhesive, if I take the lid off, a little adhesive in, and fold that down. I just don't like that point. That's personal preference. You do what you like. Then it's so simple. You're going to run adhesive here, okay, and you're going to run adhesive here. You're going to flip this up just like so and fold this one in. And now you have your envelope for your card and it's so simple. And let me show you how our card fits in it. Remember this is the four bar 
and you slide your card right inside. Now notice that that's a little bit big for it. The, the um, mini scoreboard actually says, and let me show you that, it actually says here um, to make envelopes for flat cards, decrease the length and width of the starting paper by one eighth inch and score normally. So you would decrease the width of your start envelope paper by an eighth inch. I don't mind it being baggy because this is not really what I would put in there because I still have to embellish it. So I like these cards. So like I said, it's going to open up a whole new world. Now you'll know a small card, your standard A2, you'll have an A6, and you'll be able to make a big 5x7 card and your own envelopes to match. I hope that this really, um, I hope you really like this, guys. I like it a lot. I'll find a link to where you can um, purchase the scoreboard and put it below in my um, blog post, so visit there. And you may be anywhere, I would think anywhere they have my um, Martha Stewart crafts, you should be able to find these. So, hope you enjoyed that little tutorial of the Martha Stewart mini scoreboard. See you guys later. Bye-bye.